Um, from recent news, as we see, we had a big week with Kanye's fall off. He's lost not everything, but he's lost a lot. I mean, it's close. Two billion worth. Two billion yeah, dollars worth. Yeah. His Adidas deal. Uh, what good music lost? Yeah, good with dropped Def the label. Jam and everything. Mm -hmm. Goodwill <laughs> even stopped selling his Yeezys. They said they said oh, they're yeah, not yeah. selling Goodwill, his Yeezys. Not, yeah. That's crazy. How yeah. bad do you gotta be for somebody <laughs> that takes free stuff? A donation center. <laughs> <Donation. laughs> Yo, imagine going to like a Make a Wish kit, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, so yeah, like yeah, bro, we you got one wish. What's your one wish? I would like to meet Kanye. Uh, uh, is is there anything else? Is there anything else? <laughs> you got an option B. I think he's busy yeah, from yeah, us. He's yeah. busy from everybody. You know, they what got I mean? no Kanye clause. That's crazy. Even um, what Gap is removing Yeezy Gap. Um, but he already wanted to leave Gap, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, and then that's the other thing too is like some of these places he did want to leave because they was trying to rip off his stuff. So mm -hmm. it's like. Is it really a, a downfall? I mean, it's a downfall for his public perception. Because mm -hmm. now you have to... He lost to beat us. I mean, then what? Yeah, you can do it yourself, but let's be honest. You, not, you don't have a yeah, what Adidas yeah. has. Because they said, they said that the day after he loses the deal with Adidas, he tried to um, go with the camera crew yeah, up yeah. to sketch oh, it. Oh, man, he tried to... Bro. I'm like, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> You tripping. Yo, he went, my man went to Skechers and got kicked out. Yeah. Yeah. That was hilarious. He probably got right to the, the secretary man. desk. Like, yeah, you tell him that Kanye's here. They probably kicked him out because of that stupid outfit he was yeah. wearing when he walked in. He probably that. came in there with the rain boots. Well, he came in there with the rain boots. He had the mask on. Like, Yo. hey, did y'all see that picture of him with uh, his new girl or yeah. whatever? He's looking like a uh, yeah, Uncle got, Ruckus. Yeah, he, he got a new little slime. Yeah, little slime he got that. Boom. And this yeah. was the official statement. Of Kanye West, or, or Ye, or whatever, reportedly showed up to Sketches HQ unannounced and was immediately escorted out. Immediately. Immediately <laughs> escorted out. <laughs> he probably ain't make it through the front. He <laughs> walk two steps. Just like just, <laughs> just like when a black when a black person go to like a white area and they know they're not supposed oh, to be yeah. there. <laughs> they trying to help them as quick as possible so they can get the fuck out. <laughs> that's Man. hilarious though. But I see people like they're saying like, oh, this was like a big like ploy for him to get off his Adidas deal. Mm -hmm. but, uh, nah. I'm like, I feel like they're just giving him too much. Like, they they're giving him a reason on why. I don't think this was a master plan for him getting out. I think it's just one of those things that it happened because he got out of his deal. Mm -hmm. It it's happening in that way. But I don't think he planned to be like, oh, let me go ahead and say this shit so I can get out of my deal real quick. Because okay. he's already been saying shit. And see, I think like. You know, it's interesting we're calling this the price of your opinion. When it came to his opinion, I think that he may have thought that people were going to be in agreement with him as far as the mm -hmm. masses. Yeah. And where he went wrong at was where he said it at. Like, you say it on a platform that has millions of viewers and stuff, millions of, of watchers, and yes, you're entitled to your opinion, but your opinion is only valued to the people around you. Yeah. You know, because all conversations ain't meant for everybody to hear. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, no, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's and true. I agree. It's like you could have Jewish friends. That's cool, but not every Jewish fr not every Jewish person is your friend. So maybe your opinion doesn't align with all Jewish people. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, I think another thing people have to understand. Yeah, there's freedom of speech. You're free to say whatever mm -hmm. you want. But there's still gonna be circumstances depending on what you're saying. Right. Yeah. You can walk down the street. You can you can yell. You can yell at anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what yeah. that person gonna do to you? That's up to them. And that's the interesting thing. Like you know, with the price of your opinion, your opinion is only your opinion in, until somebody's backing you. Yeah. So it's like in most cases, especially with these rappers, who's backing you? The Jewish people, the white people. Yeah. They're the people who are in control of <laughs> that particular industry. They sign your paychecks. You, right. Do you think it would have been different if, let's say, is he, do you still call him Kanye? Or yeah, I don't care. But um, <clears throat> do you think it would have been different like if he had like the back end of like the black community? Like if he didn't lose that community, like 
and he said what he said with Jewish people wherever it gets me. Do you think we would like look at him in a different way? So this is this is where Kanye really messed up with the black uh, the black community. And I know he came out with an apology yesterday, and it was kind of a little bit. He I think he should have had like what's the person that makes you know they PR team yeah PR yeah. team about your apology because what he said was a little bit left. And I feel like when he made the comment about the slavery was a choice. Now, there are black people out there that do agree with what he said, but the majority of black people don't agree with you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But, not to cut you off, they didn't really, like, hold him accountable to that. Because, like, maybe, what, the next month after? No, yeah, he was still doing But, see, yeah. but, but, but yeah. see, the only people that could have held him accountable were black people. Yeah. And it's like, for us, it's like, we don't hold nobody accountable. Yeah. Next day or next week or next month, I mean, shit. Gucci. Talking about Jordans, yeah. people was mad at Jordan for a while, and then people for the prisons, buying, right? Yeah, and then like, still buying Jordans. So. Yeah, like so. But that's what I'm saying. Like, what? I mean, obviously, I know the difference now is you know you go you go after the Jewish community, you're done. Like, for sure, <laughs> you're done. Um, and that's anybody. That's yeah. not just that's not just yeah. yay. That's yeah, just not a black person. Matter. That's literally anybody. And that also is because. How their community is yeah. ran, but the only person who escaped it, Loki, was Nick Cannon. Yeah, because you uh, know what? Nick Cannon had the people. Yeah, the black people. He didn't turn his back away from the black people. Mm-hmm. So even if what he said was you know misguided, he still had the power of the people to be like, "Yo, we still have your back, yeah. and we'll still push with you." Kanye though, he turned his back away from the black people. And see, like, and this is the thing though, right? Because like you know, we could say this, I guess, because we're black, yeah. but. I think what happened was is that Ye thought he was no longer in the white man's eyes a nigga. He yeah, didn't he yeah. didn't he didn't reach ultra instinct nigga status. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he didn't reach that level, but to the masses you're still looked at as a nigga. I mean it's it, it, hey, it's like you said, they'll keep you cool when you cool with them. Mm-hmm. But they still know who you are. Yeah. Like, like you're just one of the good ones. And, and and where we have to really look at as a community is that in most cases, is if you're in corporate America or you're being backed by the whites, like the white, white mega businesses and stuff, mm-hmm. your situation is you're only valued as long as you can do things for them. The moment when you can't do shit, you right to the streets. We can replace you. Like, well, Ye's position is more so looked at like, yeah, you have power to say X, Y, and Z because you were making us money. Yeah. Yeah. But now when you make comments where now we got to sit here and see, because Adidas was the last company to cut them off. And Adidas is, um, it's funny when he was saying, this is the clip when he was saying that Adidas would never um, drop him. Mm-hmm. And the next yeah. day they dropped him. And a lot of people don't understand this. They say that, they say, I think Adidas is worth like over $20 billion. Yeah. Kanye is not bringing in $20 billion. Yeah. yeah. Like, He's Kanye, you're a, you, may be a, you may be a big piece of the pie, but you're not the biggest yeah. piece of the pie. I think with the thing with, I guess, the Yeezy brand for Adidas, because Adidas, they have the core market like they have right. the things that they're going to sell that's going to consistent consistently make the money every mm-hmm. year but obviously with yay that's just going to like diversify like your i guess your income or your audience mm-hmm. when you, what what's that mean? extra two bill whatever mm-hmm. if, yeah if that so again they're really not going to lose anything honestly like you said financially but there'll still be a market that they won't be able to tap in if they don't have like a person like you know Kanye. I mean, they they lose some fan base, but yeah, we're yeah. looking at a chart. Like well, overall, if I tell you I'm like, giving you, I, you're getting a hundred percent, and I'm like, I'm just going to take ten yeah. percent of what you make. Does that really like if we're looking at like he was saying fifty billion, yeah. and you take ten percent of my fifty billion? Twenty twenty yeah. twenty billion. Don't be don't be right, reaching 20, for no, 20 don't billion, be reaching. Yeah. Fifty is a, yeah. it's a lot. It's a lot. But still, take twenty ten uh, percent of twenty billion. That still ain't going to really yeah. like put a hole in my pocket. And then the thing, this is what, you know, at the end of the day, when people talk about Adidas dropping it, <clears throat> Adidas was not made off of streetwear. Yeah. yeah it was true. made off of working out and sports. Yeah. Adidas has always been under Nike. 
A lot of people don't know that. Like, I mean, yeah, Adidas has its athletes. They have the teams that, rep, you know, when they're a part of the jerseys and stuff like that. But they're not Nike. Yeah. Yeah. And you see Nike was okay with dropping Ye. Yeah. They don't, <laughs> they don't need them. No, they didn't need you. Yeah. But yeah, sometimes what happens, fun. sometimes what happens is that the level of status that in most cases with, with our community, you know, our, our black men, what we achieve, sometimes we can forget, like, we not running the show. Yeah. Ye thought he was running the show. When you make a comment on Drink Champs and you like, yo, they can't cancel me. You can't cancel me. You had to kill me. Uh, should I put that clip on people? <laughs> I mean, go ahead, man. Let's see. You gotta probably put the mic closer to the computer yeah, yeah, yeah. or something. I'm gonna get the audio. Now what? Now, the thing about it being a Adidas, it's like, 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 what are you going to do to me? Like, basically egging them to do it. So, do you think if he didn't say that comment, they would drop him? Yes. Because you got to remember, uh, which I didn't know until like last week, he did this as a German company. And yeah, yeah. He used to be a former Nazi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they try, I mean, Germany in general try their best to stray away from that as much as possible. Right. So the fact that he's up here saying that is like, come on, man. Mm -hmm. You really can't yeah. have no choice. Yeah. So, you know, when we talk about Ye, this is going to be the interesting thing. And I, I was talking about this in the barbershop this week. The crazy thing, what people are not talking about, Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny is on Adidas. Oh, really? Look at the reach that Bad Bunny does. Yeah. So if they make Bad Bunny the face of Adidas, they're going to make yeah. way more because it'll be international yeah. to a whole nother level. We saw what Bad Bunny did in the month of September. Think about if he on his tour and he got his Adidas there. All different type of colorways, whatever. Everybody buying those. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, though, that will be like the new run DMC. Like, Except yeah, for he'll, he'll yeah. be getting paid for it yeah. in that way. But with the, yeah, I mean, he, I mean, obviously he brings like the more, like the, the idea. Like someone was saying like Kanye is the idea guy, but he's mm -hmm. bad at being the business guy. Yeah. Which it's a lot it's probably like a lot for a lot of creative people like highly creative people like mm -hmm. they're good at coming up with ideas or whatever but when it comes to the business it's like you need someone else to like funnel or, or be in charge of that absolutely yeah I also think the question is like how much can you be a free thinker there's there's a certain aspect like I'm a free thinker for sure I think outside the box but then we also know there's certain parameters that this world lives in that you can't step outside that box. You can still have your thoughts and opinions, but there is a certain track record that stays in where you can't say what you want or can't go against the grain, even if you think the grain is wrong. And a lot of times what a lot of people don't understand, your image is everything. Yeah. Kanye made a comment, and now his image got tarnished. Maybe not towards the black people. Well, I mean, I guess we could probably say the black people too. Yeah. When it came to the slavery comment, but the Jewish comment, I don't think it really affected black people like that, no. because there are some people that do believe what he said. As far as like, we're um, we're Israelites too, and boom boom, we can't be anti-Semitic too. Some people do believe that, and then there are other people that don't believe that. However, what happens is that when your opinion is said in front of people that have some type of power. And their image is also could also potentially be in jeopardy as well. Now your opinion gets questioned. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it may it in his eyes what he said, in his eyes it may be a fact. But in hindsight, all facts are are opinions. Yeah. But it's just a mass people that believe in the one opinion that makes it a fact. Yeah. So but yeah, you know, we, we get Oh, you want to talk more about Ye? Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Say, <laughs> say your last yeah. and close argument. I was just, um, I mean, there's two arguments to that. There's one um, with the companies, like when he was going on those grants that were deemed like anti-black, yeah. he was not dropped from anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. But again, like I said, black people didn't really hold him accountable. Like the next 
week we was listening to his gospel album. Yeah. But um, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> I know, now what's the picture of that <laughs> But like the other thing though, like with these companies, like with Yay, like moving, I don't even know how you move forward from this because you're burning mm-hmm. a lot of bridges. And I, I know you could always say like, oh, he could do it himself, whatever. But can you really? I mean, because you know how much can't. money you would have to put up. He you would see, have to. He had to take time interview? off. Yeah. The houseway interview. Yeah. See, he was already right. tried to do it himself. Like, you can't. But the thing is, he didn't want to do it in a small scale. He wanted to go big. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. Sway was telling him, like, okay, you could do it on like a smaller scale and work your way up. He, I mean. I mean, obviously, he made a lot of money going to, like, Adidas and stuff like that. But now you're losing all those relationships. So it's like, what do you do now? You don't have the factories of your desires. You don't have the material. You don't have the funding, the employees. You don't have any of that. So check this out. So there is this, um, there is another seller. He goes by Cool Kai. You ever seen him? He uh, sounds familiar. Yeah, so he has a version of Air Jordan 1s. Oh, yeah. But all he does, none of his none of his shoes are in physical locations unless they're like at a resale shop or something like that. But what he does is that he started from the ground up, and I know there's speculations and stuff about ownership and stuff like that for anybody in the comments that want to say that. But he started from the ground up. But all he does is that he goes to pop up. He does pop up shows. Okay. So he'll be at certain he'll be at certain um, places. But this dude will make you know arguably two hundred plus thousands a day. Damn. Just for selling two hundred plus, I think it's like two hundred plus dollar sneakers, and they're pretty dope. Like I won't lie, like the cool guys are pretty dope. Um, some people will call them the knockoff Jordan One, but a lot of people buy these shoes. So does he just remaster the shoe? It's not a remaster like... because there's no Nike Swish. There's okay, like a okay. there's a there's okay. like a lightning bolt. Like okay. if you look it up, just type in. You could type in a uh, cool is K O O L and then K I Y, I believe. But yeah, so these shoes, I think they retail anywhere between 200 to $250. But these shoes also have a resale for 500 to 600 plus thousand dollars. And he has merch, he has shoes. Um, yeah, like, see, look. Oh, okay, I see what uh, you're saying. Like, yeah. a lot of, even cl- including celebrities wear those. Yeah. I was like, damn, okay. I've seen these. Yeah, I definitely seen them before. So that's the thing that that's the thing that Ye could do because right there, that's your own brand. Yeah. Now yeah. he did have some legal problems with Nike and stuff because they tried to say how it was the same. Yeah, looking the design can yeah. look similar, but at the same time, it's you're not using. But with him, the likeness of Nike. But with him, he's found the people in the factories. They make the shoes. They come with these sweet ass boxes and stuff. Yeah, but All, that's the problem though. The people in the factories might not want to work with Ye now. Bro, I doubt it. They're going to work. Money. Think so? They're agents. Money. These people, like, we don't, that's the thing. Like, in a sneaker culture, we know who work in the factories. People on a regular scale don't talk about who works in the factories. Agents work in the factories. Yeah. Yeah. They want money at the end of yeah. the day. They don't, and, and, it, and this is the thing. He don't even have to actually be in the factory. He could have somebody else going to sit here and do that work. Go Honestly, to the factory. All he needs to do is put his name. Well, but like he still has creative control, but he can if he's smart, he will hire a business person to go out here and yeah. talk on his behalf. Yeah, talk on my behalf. And that's I mean, it. Honestly, that's what he probably should do. Honestly, because obviously him talking don't work out. I mean, well. and then we, <laughs> like, we and that's already been secluded with our already been thought of when he said it himself with the Twitter situation. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I gotta have somebody screen my Twitter for me. Just to make sure that I don't say anything off the wall, and it still seeps through where he say some crazy ass shit. Right, facts. Moving on, we have a new Twitter owner, mm-hmm. Mr. Elon Musk, oh, bought yeah. uh, Twitter this week for forty-four billion dollars. Now, for you guys that don't know, he this was the same offer he did a couple months ago, but he backed out the deal. But he's the man who walked in with a toilet See? <laughs> And he he went on a he went on a little a little row. He fired the fired CFO, the CEO, the CFO, CFO the all the top people. Policy, yeah. Trust and safety. Like they said, he walked in and put his balls in the table. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> get, get the fuck out. <laughs> walked in, <laughs> off the table, kicked his feet up. So obviously, when you when you take over a company and when you fire people, you don't agree with how they were running the company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. all it was. Yeah, yeah, because his um, what, what did he say here? 
He said there's currently great danger that social media will splinter into far right wing and far left wing echo chambers that generate more hate and divide in our society. Um, which is true, but I don't know how you can even stop that. I, um, I think it would be more so regulation because we all know Facebook prime example. We got Facebook groups that literally their group name is about hating yeah. certain races and all that stuff. And for Facebook to put all these blockers on, oh, you can't view this because it may be too uh, violent and it's a fight. But now you got these white people in these groups talking shit and like they're just allowed to do it. They don't yeah. shut down any group. But my question is though, like outside of that, why does everybody hate Elon? I don't know much about him other than him like owning Tesla. But like when when this happened, I saw like tweets of yeah. um, like Tumblr and MySpace trending. Mm -hmm. People were saying like, oh yeah, we're gonna go back to Tumblr and MySpace. Or other people were like, um, let's lower the value of Twitter so it could be like a bad deal. Yeah, for him. For what though? Yeah, I'm I agree. Like, with why? Like I don't. Again, I don't know much about him outside of him. You know, doing his shit with Tesla and mm -hmm. SpaceX. So I don't know. Like, did he do something bad? Like, why do so, people hate him so? My question about this is about to get real gruesome, guys. Oh. You never know what Jamal is going to say. I know. Elon. <laughs> Elon. <laughs> my question is that I hope we, well, it's not a question. This is a, this is a statement. Please don't get rid of Twitter porn. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't get rid of Twitter porn. It's nice to see a nice little booty and some oh, boobies on that on that on that, that uh, Twitter feed. <laughs> I don't know, man. They, they, they gotta like cut it a little bit though, like, cause me personally, uh, like if I'm scrolling through my timeline, I shouldn't see what's what Ma liked. <laughs> <laughs> like, but see, for me to keep it under wraps, <laughs> like, I don't like the retweet. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but I do <laughs> see. <laughs> I'd be scared to open Twitter. Like every time I open Twitter, like if I'm bro, at work, oh yeah, bro, I, I, bro. This is what I do. Let me open Twitter. Hold on. Put my brightness down. Oh, I know. So what the I'm thing is, I only open Twitter for us when we in the group yeah. chat. Like, and even then, I'd be scared that the next I'm possible scared, thing that might be bro. showed up because even in Twitter, I uh, follow entertainment. I don't even use Twitter. I follow one person. That's because I won that contest, and that's it. But. Even then, I follow entertainment as my top because you got you talking to me for it. And even in entertainment, it's still be showing for it. Me, I just don't. As long as I don't see no dick pic, <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. We can keep going. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't even follow too many people, but I still see like when someone likes something or like. Yeah. Because it's the mutual yeah, side. Yeah. They added the mutual yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know if you're going to stop that. That would be crazy. <laughs> He ain't bro. gonna stop it, bro. It's a wild western. You can't story, stop bro. it. Oh, it is. Yeah. And I love, yeah. like, like, so I appreciate Twitter now more than ever because you can see what goes on in people's heads. Oh, yeah. The freedom of it. The yeah. freedom of it. Like, and it's, it, it's pretty cool, you know. You get your, you can get your leaks. You can get your, your discount codes and stuff like that. Yeah. But then you get people's conversation. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, I find it so crazy <laughs> what people will just type. That's in their head. They be going crazy online. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like for instance, I saw it on I saw it on Facebook yesterday. I'm tired, sweaty, and horny. <laughs> this came from a female. On Facebook. On Facebook, 12 a.m. Man, I'm be on there too. Tired, sweaty, and horny. But why sweaty? Okay. But I'm like, <laughs> that's, 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 I'm like, yo, why? Context. Like you all will put anything on here, which is crazy. Was she in the gym? <laughs> this was just a status. You said this was 12 in the morning? Mm -hmm. It was like four Thirst other girls. Trash. Oh, wow. Me too, Thirst girl. Trash. Sure. Bro, me too, I girl. I've been saying that. Like, there was this one person. I'm not going to say her names, but there was one person on my Facebook, but she shares so much information on, on mm -hmm. her life. I'd be like, ain't no way you sharing this. Like, I should not know what you and your, your boo's doing or mm -hmm. what your baby dad did or whatever the case may be or like how you feeling right now. Like, they be going crazy. Like, when you read the comments, it'll be like other girls will be like, like you said, like, me too. Me too whatever. movement, it's bro. It's that tension, man. Like, and then got the nerve a month later. I'm tired of y'all always trying to be in my business and stuff. <laughs> You're like, hold on. Like, ain't no way you put this out here. Like What's that, that tweet? The thing? audacity. We on, we on season 10. <laughs> with an attitude and like, shit with me. I should not know your baby dad was talking to niggas. Yeah. That'd be the crazy thing. <laughs> like, I'm like. And I kept your secret. Like, 
Whoa. What? Then tag him. Ma'am. Ma'am. I'm like, ain't no way I should know this right now. Mm -hmm. like, just and imagine you just scroll through the timeline, you told someone something in private, and now they're just talking about it on the timeline. Like, yeah. Shit crazy. And I'd be some screenshots. For sure. That'd be the worst when you see people's text messages on the internet. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, he over here on a date, yeah. but he can't take care of his five kids. But <laughs> if he didn't take care of kid one, and you had four more with that motherfucker. Yeah. You tripping. Shit. You tripping. He told you he was checked out on kid two. Right. <laughs> like, and they was probably all girls, too. Yeah. He was like, man. Fuck it. Just fuck it. But no, but going, going back to, to Elon, I really, maybe that's some matter I'm looking into. Why do everyone hate Elon? I just don't yeah. get it. I don't know. Man. I, don't know I think it's him. because he's because he's uh, he talks. Yeah. People hated Trump. Yeah. People yeah. didn't hate Jeff Bezos. When Jeff Bezos went through ah, a divorce, that is I feel true. Like, I feel like you ain't really you hear hate. shit about Jeff no. too much. I feel like you should dislike yeah. Jeff more than you dislike Elon. Like you be training them an Amazon employee, shit he's over. But everybody's but job everybody is shit. Everybody orders shit on Amazon. Yeah, yeah, think yeah. about everybody not getting a Tesla. True. You're but everybody on Amazon, they don't give a fuck because Amazon got prices. People went crazy during the COVID sec during the COVID era when we weren't getting Prime no more. <laughs> They're like, hold on, wait. What were the packages supposed to be here three days ago? We on day five. Customer service. Yeah, people don't want to work for us right now, so we have shorter staff, so we had to extend it. You should have your package by next week. Next yeah. week. Next week. You know what I'm saying? Amazon. Crazy. <laughs> but who you gonna go to? You gonna write back to Amazon. You got much yeah, of a choice. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody else got no prime like that. <laughs> Even USPS. Oh, it'll show up when it show up. But at the end of the day, Elon on his word, I really don't think it's gonna change anything. It's I mean, it, he, he did say he was gonna change the logo. Yes. It was supposed to be a penguin with like a cowboy hat. Like, yeah. <laughs> But we're gonna adjust. Why, bro? Just like when we, just like when we saw like the Twitter logo with the bird, but I guess like the bird does tweety, tweety. Yeah, yeah I get that logo, but what's what, is he gonna change Twitter name to as well? <laughs> Musk. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine the new commercials. <laughs> Do you think if I go like viral on Twitter, you would, like give me a Tesla? No, no, bro. Okay. I don't think he give me no. that much. You just gonna have to tag him for like three years. Or start a GoFundMe. Yeah. <laughs> start a little yeah. GoFundMe. A GoFundMe. You gotta start a good uh, emotional story. But moving on, we got Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner, um, another appeal has been denied. It's crazy, man. Everybody's appeal is getting denied, man. You got Gunners. Yeah. You got Brittany Griners. Yeah. Ain't nobody getting out. So, um,. This week, well, you know, this week coming up, she will begin her nine-year pr prison sentence on um, the drug charges, and the U.S. government has, de has declared Griner as wrongfully detained. Now, this is crazy, because when Brittany Griner first got detained... <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hell. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> Wait, hold on. We, we're, not, we're not laughing at Brittany Griner. We're not Griner. laughing at Brittany Griner. No, no, I am it's not just, at all. But I just, I we saw gonna, what we laughing at, we're going to put on the screen for you all to know what we laughing at. But what's so crazy, like, now you see Joe Biden talking about the Brittany Griner situation. Yeah. yeah. But it's like in the beginning, you didn't really care. Yeah. And it was still the same outcry. You had the outcry from her wife. You had an outcry from the from the WNBA as well as from the NBA players. Yeah. You had an outcry from Twitter. Yeah, from you had people, an outcry yeah. from the nothing's, U.S. American nothing's people. Nothing's changed except for time. But then, and then it's crazy because it's like when you see Biden on TV, this motherfucker like, yeah. So we see that <laughs> Brittany Griner was wrongfully in prison. Bro. We're working our hardest. The U.S. military should should have her out in. Next question. You know, question. <laughs> bro, I, I was saying this the other day, like, I mean, I know he has a speech impediment, but still, like. But it's bad, though, bro. Yeah. It's like, did you even go to elementary? <laughs> Nigga. Well, I'm oh, not going to lie. I be looking at him like, yo, are you okay? Like, he, look, oh, 
But he's not that old. Man, how like old is he? 80, old. like 70, Bro, 70, something. Like 70 something. He, right? You know who he looked like? And you didn't even watch Game of Thrones, so you didn't watch House of Dragon. Because if you saw what the king did, the king every single episode looked like he gained 20 he years. He's 80 years old. Yes, yeah. he's old as shit. Bro. I thought that nigga was like 75. Bro. And you see the picture that they got. The picture is when he was probably 50, this 45 years not, old. Bro, this is he don't look like that. He looked rough. You saw but him yeah. fall off that bike. I forgot what his name was. It was like what? something. What's the What's the House of Dragon king? Damn, you why know, am I asking you? You didn't even watch yeah, it. Yeah. But if you saw House of Dragon, every episode, it looked like he gained 20 years to his life. He was looking old as shit. When he first came into the episode, he was looking all healthy and stuff, but he had some type of like sickness or whatever on him. But this dude aged to the point to the, the final episode before he was killed. This dude lost his whole eye. Damn. Like, yeah, man. Let me... I may have been a spo- it may have been a spoiler, but the the season finale was. I just see, look, like oh, okay. yes, bro. I see what Every like, single yeah. episode, he got older and older. Yeah. That's what we're looking at with Joe Biden. That is crazy. I, like like I said, every time I see him, he doesn't have like any like stage presence. Maybe I'm just spoiled because you know, like when you saw like Obama and stuff like that. And know, Trump. Like, yeah, and, and even Trump, unfortunately. But they was like rock stars, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because we, well, we already know, I don't know, I mean, he's been in entertainment, so, I mean, that's easy for him, for sure. But Joe Biden, he really be up there struggling, I'm sure he's bad sometimes. What you feel bad for, don't lie. <laughs> what you feeling bad about him? <laughs> he ain't, he ain't forgive, he, he ain't forgive your student yeah, loan debt. Old person, that's what, that's what it is. No, nah, it just looked like he's struggling, but I don't know, like, why, he, I mean, yeah, he almost 80. But I know other older people, they they moving fine. But, but so check this out. <clears throat> Biden ain't the only one. Because honestly, if Bernie Sanders was in that bitch, Bernie would have came there with the with the motor scooter. <laughs> Park. Hey, Bernie wouldn't even dressed up for his inauguration. You know what I mean? <laughs> he would have came Y'all in a sweater. Y'all saw him when, when he was in that <laughs> picture. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he would have came in a sweater. Like, I'm like, been man. like, hey, we done. I, I got I to gotta get back to my shows. But... Yo, y'all, y'all think Kanye gonna run? I think Kanye gonna run. Yeah, I think yeah. Gonna I mean, run. anybody can run for president. They I just think, like, I think he gonna run. The presidential requirements are not that hard. The hardest thing is probably the age, because then it's like, because you do have to be a certain age to run yeah. for president. Oh, how, how old you gotta be? Like, he's yeah. like forty-five yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Steph, before we continue the show, I just need you to get it's a little something on the bottom lip. I just need you to get that out. It's really oh, bugging me. But I was really trying to save your life for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> moving on, moving on. See? Segway. But that's what you want. You want somebody to look it out for you. you ain't that you're right? right. No, no, you're right. You're right. You know what I mean? That's a true friend All right. right there. All right. So, um, moving on. Um, I, it is Halloween season when we're uh, when we're filming this. It is October 30th. Halloween is tomorrow. It's my dog's birthday as well. Shout out to Smoke. We got to figure out what we're gonna do for him. Um, up is Jeffrey Dahmer. The Jeffrey Dahmer dog? Yeah. Was there a dog in Jeffrey Dahmer? I don't know, nah. but it could be I don't a, think it was. I don't know, but it could be a first one. But yeah. yeah. But mamas, this is a message for y'all. Stop. Well, first think about what you're going to dress your children up as. Because as we see right here, we see this crazy ass mom who had the nerve to dress up her yeah. son as Jeffrey Dahmer. Little man looks about five years old. My man is smiling. But he don't even know what he's smiling for. Got a sandwich in his They hand. have the nerve to put the sandwich in there. A bucket. What else is in this bucket? Bucket got the they got the body fi- parts. Oh, it was a body part in there? Is that a foot? Yeah, yeah. Yo, it's a <laughs> That's a foot in there. Yo, what the fuck? I ain't even zoom in on that picture. Body parts no in there. That's yeah, crazy. Bro. Yeah, That's bro. crazy. Listen, stop living your dreams like curiously <laughs> through your children. Hey, my thing first is that like, you know, sh- mama don't even take her child to get a haircut. Man, my man's hair, my child's haircut looked like a mop. He looked like I. He looked like a serial killer. What the comments? I was even going to say it. I was like, I'll, I'll be nice because that's a child. What the comments? I don't want to talk about children. It's time to roast these motherfuckers. Like, what they say? You look like a serial killer. Nigga said, see in the future. Mm mm mm. That was my face. <laughs> That's all right. Oh. What, what's up with the glizzy? Oh, my man. Why? <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs>
<laughs> his friend like, yo, you do that too? <laughs> hey. That has zero context oh my God. to this. Yeah. You got a dick writer. So t- you know, Twitter is a wild Bro, Twitter is, I'm telling you. Like, yo, I can you it. bookmark that? Which one? That way I can put that up on the screen. The, the glizzy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Definitely the glizzy one. Yeah. Sad. Yeah, so um shoot man. Oh so okay. So I saw a I saw a couple um dope dope costumes out um as far as like what the celebrities did this morning. Um did you all see any like costumes or something? Did you see the the Michael Myers uh, when he was dancing? He was dancing with Jason and Freddy Krueger and stuff. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, right. that was pretty dope. And there's there's a couple um I think somebody else did like another um Halloween TV show type thing and had them all. A couple videos that's been out. Um, let me ask you this. Do you all celebrate Halloween? Have, did y'all grow, grow, um, grow up doing it? I actually plan on going tomorrow or Monday. Well, so yeah, tomorrow. I've never been trick So did you, did, did you do trick or treating? Uh, well, I, well, I ain't had the kids all week. So. No, I'm, no, I'm talking oh, about growing up. Oh, dude. growing up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah growing up, man. Uh, yeah, I, I had a sad story growing up. I, um, uh, I dressed up as a football player, mm-hmm. and then you know they going so in the garages. Oh. Nah, nah, worse, bro. <laughs> I wish I would have got tackled. <laughs> like, but going in the garages, somebody had like a little, you know, the uh, it costume with the mm-hmm. candy. So of course I'm like probably, probably about eight, nine years old, scared to go up and get the candy. Well, nobody warned me that coming out, some nigga was hiding with a leaf blower. <laughs> Next to the garage door, so my scared ass take off full speed, going down this driveway. That's a hill, I mind you. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, good thing I had a helmet on because I did a front flip on top of my helmet and walking and ran all the way to my parents. Yeah. But that ain't even the worst part about the whole day. Later on, we go through the whole night. <laughs> like we go through the whole night, everything cool. We going back to our car because you know you gotta make it all the way around. Yeah. Next thing you know, this nigga, grown ass man, gonna look at me and be like, "Oh, that was the kid that did the front flip." <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> he went from this nigga to that grown ass man. <laughs> hold on, bro. I'm weak, bro. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Y'all was really like out, out there like running around talking about trick or treat. Like y'all was really doing that. So for yeah. me, for me, I wasn't even allowed to celebrate it. You oh, know, yeah, yeah. like oh, wow. my mom was one of those proud black Christian mothers. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for you all that know what I'm talking about, we was at Harvest Sunday. We was at church. Oh, damn. The yeah. most I probably got out of Halloween was carving a pumpkin. Yeah, see, yeah. me, I, I haven't done any trick or treat. I never handed out candies or nothing. I never even dressed Man, up. Did you yeah. even go to a party or anything like that? No Halloween parties? For nah, you? I never, no, I never, yeah, I never done that either. I never, never? went to no Halloween Man. party. Because remember, at the time I moved here, I was like already 13. Oh, so uh, like, yeah, yeah. So you was already solidified. Yeah, it was too late. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At that point. So what else we got, man? What else we got? So. Wait. Cause we know you got. You said you got to leave here at two thirty. You got eight minutes left yeah. with us. Um, what was that one thing you said? <laughs> the Milwaukee LGBTQ bars ban customers from wearing. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> so in in Milwaukee, what had happened was they came out letting everybody know that if you dressed up as Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, you wouldn't be um, admitted into the bars there for the LGBT communities. Um, so that was pretty interesting. And I understood it. I understood it because, you know, they just recently came out with this. Then you have Halloween coming up and how you can have somebody dressing up coming into these clubs or these bars and can actually scare, you know, customers away. Mm-hmm. So... But that, that raises a question. Is it, um, I mean, obviously, I know my viewpoint. I don't agree with people using real life murders and things like that or scary moments for Halloween. Mm-hmm. But people do do that where they, they create this image because it's Halloween and it's based off of this real life situation. So, how do you guys feel about using how they take that Halloween thing and take that chance to capitalize on? This Jeffrey Dahmer situation, just like Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, 
they've like they've capitalized off of costumes like for you know for however long you've had Michael Myers you've had Scream Freddy Krueger Jason you've had Chucky so every every movie or series it's usually the movies but that that does well within like you know it you it usually it usually was just uh, the movie theater mm -hmm. but now you can see things are trending on Twitter mm -hmm. so it's like okay now you see some shit trending on Twitter and now the audience was to do that too so I mean people are going to capitalize just like when when Rick Ross was sitting here talking about hey find me them Jeffrey Dahmer glasses and he faced backlash for that so but hold on do you think it would have been the same like do you think these people would have their kids like dressed up <clears throat> as Jeffrey Dahmer if he was like a serial killer who like killed like white people or young white girls and also like you know <clears throat> them or whatever no, the no, I don't know bro cause, cause folks is just weird like and that's just the thing folks are folks are really weird like just like when you see what we talked about a couple weeks ago when we saw them kids in the locker room yeah. uh, having yeah, the black yeah, football yeah. players on the <clears throat> you know on the auction block yeah. that's weird like, we're not even really in a slavery-type society anymore where we see that type of stuff right there in front of our eyes and stuff. And at that, for for them on the other end, they thought that that was funny and cute. Me personally, like, I'm going to go to a white club dressed up as OJ. Mm. <laughs> like an all-white business club. I'm going to stand outside dressed up as OJ. We I love that don't fat. <laughs> Hey, Miss Parker. <laughs> but you know, them white white oh, people was having a fascination with Jeffrey Dahmer and all yeah, them white yeah. serial killers. They was thinking they was sexy and shit. Just like, like, like if you look at it, when you go on Netflix, they have a whole crime mystery section. Yeah. Yeah. They have what's it called, the unsolved murder tapes or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something yeah. like that. But like you know, we have Jeffrey Dahmer, we have John Wayne Gacy, we have um, who was the other dude? That was killing the girls. Um, that's just, what I was talking about. You're talking about the one that, like, they all uh, like. Yeah, he yeah, was like his own lawyer and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, what's his name? off with it. Uh, they had the movie from him. Right. And because it was, Zac Efron yeah, played, Zach played him. Yeah, Zac Efron played him. Yeah, but I can't remember his name, though. I remember him. Later. I mean, I'm oh, sure. No, I remember, remember he was Okay, but, you know, <laughs> the listeners and the viewers, they know we talk yeah, about. Yeah. But, yeah, so even that, like, that dude got praised. Like, it's just, like, the murder shit. They just a little weird over there. Yeah. Like we really break it down. They just they just a little like, weird. Like I, I remember that's probably the last thing you say on this. I remember in high school, um, there was a kid who did what was it a shooting or some type of bombing or tried to do something at like some type of train station. I think I don't mm -hmm. remember. I was in high school at the time. I don't mm -hmm. remember if I was a sophomore or junior. But I distinctly remember like these girls next to me in my um it was like my work class. Like, no matter what he did, which was messed up, they was like, oh, yeah, he cute. Like, like, they were just talking about how yeah. cute he was. Yeah, like, it's weird. You just like, kill these people. That's what you're thinking about right now. Mm -hmm. Real weird. Real weird. Yeah. What What's we our time at? What's, what, what are we at on time? Uh, we are 46 minutes. Okay, 46 minutes. Okay. We can actually talk about the other thing that we were going to talk about. We can talk about that next week. Okay. Okay. So, um, but moving on, we also have, um, let's talk about some music. Let's talk about some music. Um, we were supposed to get, uh, this past Friday, we were supposed to get Drake and 21 Savage's new collab album, but they said how they had to push the, uh, push the album back a week later. Right. Because 40 got COVID this week. Let's be honest, man. Let's be honest. I don't know if it's that deep. They, they run it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to tell us their song. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Uh, Rihanna came out with a new song after not hearing from her in six years. It is going to be on the new Black Panther movie um, soundtrack called yeah, "Lift Me Up." It's a beautiful song, man. Is you it? Ever, you ever heard it? I haven't. It's a beautiful. I'm gonna song, check man. it out. That song gonna have you crying. It was one of them things I felt like <laughs> Step I had to get, get emotional. <laughs> I had, and that's what I thought. I thought that it was one of them tracks that I had to get in a quiet place yeah. and reminisce. You know who wrote it, right? The moment of Rihanna. Who wrote Rihanna. Thames. Thames. Yeah. Okay, so so you really got to immerse yourself. Thames, you know. I 
Think about that song like on a rock and roll, rock and roll track. I will wait for you. Then, the, then the drums and the guitar come in. I will wait for you. <laughs> you were like, what the fuck is going on here? No. But nah, it was a, it was definitely a beautiful song. Like, um, I thought it was gonna be the entire soundtrack that they were releasing, but I guess maybe I might do that like a week out. Cause that's what they did for the last black. Yeah, yeah, they'll probably do do it right before it comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm interested to see what the rest of it. Is. So Taylor Swift, what do you mean by a million? Does she? She um apparently that she's moving like a million of like actual purchases, not like so streaming. units, like yeah, like, physical like, units. Yeah. Like, oh my god! Like, actually, like maybe you go to iTunes to actually buy the album, or yeah. you're buying like a bundle with the vinyl and stuff like that. Mm. Um, but she's actually doing like physical, like people are actually. Pressing the body instead of just streaming. Streaming, she's still going crazy. That's crazy. So, um, yeah. For my base of what, fans. Yeah, no, she. That's that's the that's the thing though. That was the conversation that, um, which I think I said this before. Especially with today's generation, like you have people who put out music, whatever, but mm -hmm. they don't have that. They didn't take time to build that. The well, audience. I don't want to say like, the oh, like yeah, but the audience like. Especially these days when we have like all these TikTok rappers and artists, like they do numbers, then at the show would be like two hundred people show up. Ice Spice, Ice Spice, Ice Spice make me look like she enjoyed the music. I'm being honest. With but you. the moment she starts shaking some ass, it's like, hey, <laughs> I can't touch it, but hey. <laughs> she, like, I, I generally think Ice Spice. I don't think she's a rapper. Mm -hmm. I think she made a song and it got viral, and she just ran with it, which is no problem. Yeah. You know, get your bag, whatever. But I don't think she like personally really like into music. It's probably gonna you know take her to to other places. Yeah. Yeah. Be, but so what other music we have come out? Um, <clears throat> for other music we had Kodak drop the album. I didn't listen to it yet. Um, West Side Gun. I listened to some of that album. And like I said, like yeah, we listen to that in the shop. That's yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I said, every time I listen to them, I feel like I should just have tens and like. Six loose chains on this and shit like that. <laughs> 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 just stump the nigga out. Um, um, what, I mean, Baby King. I listened to that. I actually like. He liked it. I liked the, it. Yeah. Good. You listened to the, the deluxe version because that's what came out. Whatever dropped on Friday, I listened to. Okay. So maybe that was a deluxe. Okay, yeah, that's what came out. Uh, we have Juice World. I I never really listened to Juice World like that. If I'm being honest. Was that an album? That's a song. Okay. Um, in my head, some dude named K. Cartier. I've heard of that. Heard, heard of that guy. Mm. Uh, Ray Vaughn. He's cool. I didn't, I didn't listen to the song. Mm -hmm. Smino, no, that's what that's been a repeat for me. Yeah. So yeah. So Phil was playing that inside the shop, and I was rocking with it. And I didn't know that he was a part of Dreamville. Who Smino? Mm. Yeah, that's what he told. Well, Phil told me that. He said he was a part of Dreamville. I don't think so. Okay. I don't think he's on the label. I don't think. Oh. I don't, know what, he, I don't know what he was talking about then. Yeah, he's like connected. He's connected. Like, I, don't, I don't think he's on the... I'm, yeah, I never heard of him being on the Dreamville label. Not that I know of. So you got Wes Khalifa and Taylor getting a new album, G Rage. Yeah, yeah another fan. They listen to <laughs> Like I said, I just been listening to Smino and that Rihanna song, if I'm being honest with you. Like, Did you listen to One of the Goats? Right here. Eight Mile Soundtrack Expanded Edition by Eminem. You <laughs> got one shot. One moment. Mom spaghetti. Whatever. What? Yeah, shut up. I don't want to hear this shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's fire, <funny, laughs> bro. I, 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 I used to love him. I'm not Eminem sure. was that guy. Stan's about to there. go on the whole rant <laughs> on how he don't like Eminem. Helmet 50 Cent. Wow. Yeah, well, I, you know, I used to be a die. I got in trouble in school singing like an Eminem song. Mm. You know, what was it? I'm saying, I'm sorry, mama. Yeah, sorry, mama. Man. Man. Yeah. Nah, but tonight. And then you're not the class. Yeah, I got in trouble for singing a song in school or some shit like that. Because, I mean, literally, you a kid, and you like, because, you know, Dre on the beat, you like. And then you start hearing when he, when he start getting real gruesome, you like. Kill my mom. <laughs> <laughs> like, you like, hold up. Uh, Kill my mom. Turn the volume down just a little bit. Mm -hmm. You're slick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we also, we have Polo G coming out with Polo a single. G, Bag G, Talk. Bag Talk. SZA. <laughs> SZA. Her fine ass came out with a single shirt. I watched the I watched the video. It was nice. <laughs> Everybody go watch that video. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> I spice. He bitch me. That shit was trash. That shit was trash. I forgot to check this. You know what? This is on my list. This is what I was supposed to check. DBSN? Uh, Division. Okay. Um, I listened to it. Damn, I forgot that. I didn't even know. Like, when I made this list, I didn't know they were dropping, like, an album. Mm -hmm. um, and I really, I don't know if you ever listened to the Division before. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have. Before. I have, I think, their most recent on my, in my library. Um, okay, okay. The title of this of their album is called "Working on My Karma." Yeah. Um, Friday drop. It was nice. I didn't finish it, but it was nice. It was nice. How many tracks? Do you remember? I think from what I maybe like eighteen. Um, I believe Blue, who's young Blue, but yeah. Blue was on the intro, <laughs> so that was cool. Do you guys have? I know you got it. Lisa, do you guys have like any, I don't know, sleeper picks of the week? Maybe that one song or just whatever you've been listening to? Um, nah, not really. I know I've been listening to Lil Baby. Wait a minute. His album. Wait a minute. Yeah, he came out with We didn't. Freddie, Freddie Gibb fans. Freddie Gibb, Freddie Gibb fans. Uh, so, so separately, the bonus edition did drop Friday as well. We didn't put that on the list. But that was pretty dope. Make sure you guys go listen to that track with Jada Kiss, Fire. But what you were asking, um, yeah, oh, WizKid actually dropped another, uh, he dropped a single too. It's called okay. Money and Love. Okay, okay. But this right here. All right. <laughs> I ain't trying to get copyrighted, oh, <laughs> but I, so I, there, I finally found what, because I heard this and I was like, damn, what is this song, this song, but it's from the Isley Brothers, Voyage to Atlantis, Fire, that just shows my age, <laughs> my grandma's age, because I did grow up listening to the Isley Brothers. On that note. <laughs> it's like, we're about to go back to the 70s and 80s. Drop it back on the old school mic. Oh, no. <laughs> right, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got it busted out of here. Enjoy okay, whoa, it. whoa. Pause. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> you don't leave and say, I got to bust it out. And and some people may not see the visual of what you were trying to say. So. <laughs> I got to take my exit. All right, so <clears throat> getting back to it. So we already hit the music. Um, mic, oh. Did y'all not hear me? My bad. Oh, okay. Okay. We muted somebody's mic. I must have muted the wrong one. All right, yeah. I'll catch y'all soon. All right, boss. Um, so, for all my celibate folks out there. Wait. I got my super pick. Oh, yeah, super pick. My bad. We going to pause the celibate moment. All right. Let's go. So, I told y'all, y'all got to tap into drop. Yeah. You know, John, he, mm -hmm. he releasing some of the best music of his career right now. He just dropped a song with uh, BJ, the Chicago kid, called People. <coughs> well, PPL, but it just stands for People. Um, nice, smooth track, fire. Um, if you, one more sleeper pick, it came out like last year. If you want some alternative shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to pronounce her name, so I just call her O. Okay. But um, it's a song with... Um, FKJ, I believe it's her husband. Um, it's called Vibin' Out. It's a nice, nice little fire song right there for y'all. Nice little sleeper pick. Okay, nice little sleeper pick. But back to this celibate stuff. <coughs> the ones that ain't out there getting no ass. And it's okay because you don't want ass. <laughs> and it's by choice. Yes, it's not by choice, no. Yeah, if it's not by choice, you just ain't getting no ass. Just feel like that. If it's not by choice, they call you like an insult or something like that. Yeah. That's what it is. For sure. That's tough. So, Ruby, Ruby Rose reveals that she has been celibate for six, six months. months. Six months. Could you do it? Could you not get no booty for six months? I'm celibate right now. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. How long are you going? Yeah, boy. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Minute. Oh man, I think the longest I've ever done. I don't even want to tell you. I'll be lying, bro. So. <laughs> no, no. What, what's the longest you think? Like. Months, years, years. Man. 
maybe like it's probably like a month to I don't want to really seem like that guy if I say like weeks. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna probably just stick with a month, month or two. Month okay. two. Mm-hmm. That's not bad. Yeah. You know. Do you, do you believe Ruby Rose? I mean, I believe her. I mean, why would you lie about that? I mean, she could be. She could be keeping it real. <coughs> um, so I should saying like she's single and she not fucking. Pretty much. Pretty much. But. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Supposed to give her a award for it? We don't yeah, give a I mean, fuck. She don't put. give a fuck. You not getting no, none of that. Good night sessions. She put a hashtag invincible. But um, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't know why that's something to like even post. Cause like, who cares, really? Yeah. I mean, it's I, not that big of a deal. I don't care if you were. I don't care if you don't. Because there was a time when you were fucking. <laughs> That's how I looked at it. Okay, so seven months ago, you was out here getting it blown back. Yeah. I got but you. I think the thing is, maybe she put that out there for perception because she sells, I don't, don't want to say she sells sex, but I mean, she does. Well, she, she was just on a on a bus or a subway thing shaking her ass or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a sight. The doctor told her to stop it and shit like that. Yeah. But don't she do like only fans, but. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm not. This is an OnlyFans world. I had a girl uh, hit me up, and she was really contemplating OnlyFans because she needed money. And I just said, "Hey, you do whatever you want to do. You the one who got to live with that." I mean, does she? But I'm not paying for your subscription. <laughs> but does she even have a following though? <laughs> like, and that's the other thing though, like. You know, I, and that's just business one on one. It's easier to move a product or sell something if you have a following. But if you're just trying to start something and you got 50 followers, it's going to be slow. Hey, yo, fellas, if you, if you want that Ruby Rose, she got a special limited offer 75% off for 31 days. $5 for 31 days. Woo! According to this is her thing. It says, welcome to my VIP page mm. where it really goes down mm. in the DMs. Mm. You know what to do? Send it. Mm. Demon emoji. Mm. Dude's about to be in that bathroom like, <laughs> 31 days. They ain't, trying to, they ain't trying to get that auto renewal. Oh, shit. According to this, it says, what is this? It says 10 post 18 media. What? So it says 10 plus 18 media. So I'm going to see you post it 10 times and you've got like 18 pictures or videos, I guess. Mm. Hey, <coughs> fellas, hey, if that's what you want. That's what you, that's what you want. You get your Halloween discount. You know what I mean? So what else we got? What else we got? Um, There's a... <laughs> There's the uh, Beyonce thing with the uh, ticket in. Okay, yeah, you can talk about that. Yeah, so apparently she had a, a ticket package of Beyonce it was a 20, for the 2023 Renaissance Tour and it reportedly auctioned for a minimum of $50,000. It could have possibly sold at a maximum of, maximum of $150,000. So I, <laughs> that's crazy. That w- w- Would you even bid that much for a ticket? Like for anyone, I mean, I know it's Beyonce. I know you probably gonna get your money's worth, but fifty thousand dollars—that's that's a bit steep for me. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's steep as hell. Me personally, I've actually never even been to a concert. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I don't really have a reason why. I just never really got the thrill out of a concert. Um, I think from the concerts, like over the years that I've seen, that I would possibly go to, yeah, would have to probably be Astro World. Um, Kanye and Jay Z with the Watch the Throne, yeah. but other than that, it was just like, and also uh, J Cole, um, what was it, Forest Hill Drive or whatever? Yeah. That seemed pretty dope from what I was seeing online. I wish, but I wish I had the chance to see that in person. Like yeah. I, I just never really just, I don't know. It was just something that I never really gravitated to. Apparently, though, the <coughs> it was a package deal. Um, I don't think it was like from Beyonce directly, but um. Apparently, it was valued at 20k. It included two first class, first class international United Airlines Polaris tickets, a three night stay at a Marriott hotel, and two tickets to the tour in the city of their choice and backstage experience with Beyonce's mom. So, 
I don't know if that's worth 150000 if you bid in, but I guess if you want to be backstage, stay in a nice hotel, first class, and Beyonce's mom, mm-hmm. I guess. I mean, that's the other thing, like, you know, we'll get right back to it, but even like I saw this week, like, Scotty Pimpin said, I think it was like 30000 or 300000 like, you could have dinner with him, and you can get some type of autograph. So, it was crazy. I'm like, bro, it ain't Jordan, bro. But what you gonna talk about? What you gonna talk about? Because you was hating on the last dance. <clears throat> But even if it was Michael Jordan, why am I going to talk about Michael Jordan? Like, like realistic. I mean, but that, that also, like, brings the question, like, are you going, are you choosing money or are you choosing um, dinner, like, with your favorite person or whatever? You definitely choosing money. Money? I mean, what's the point? What are you going to do for me? Like, realistically, like, if I sat down with my favorite artist, which is J. Cole, yeah, I would love to meet him. But he probably gonna look at me stupid if I didn't take take some money to elevate whatever I got going on. So what about what about Kendrick Lamar? Because I know you said Kendrick. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to send an email. But um, I know you said Kendrick is your guy. Yeah, he's my, he's not my favorite though. Who's your favorite? J Cole. So you want to take dinner? No. Nah, for what? I'm sorry. J Cole don't even look the type nigga that want to have dinner with anybody. <laughs> what about your? What about? What about a female? Like, who's that female, beautiful woman or a person you look at on the scale of, like, Jacob? Uh, I mean, that's a different scale, but, um, I mean, for a long time, it was Susan. Now it's kind of Tim's lucky. So, but still I, taking the money? Yeah, I'm still taking the money. I mean, what's the point? <laughs> like, what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> like, that could be a I'm, happy ending. You never know. It depends on your mouthpiece, man, as they say. Hey, I'm, I'm taking my money. Well, I mean, even if there was, like, it's not going to change anything, realistically. Like, you're not taking the money? I mean, yeah, like, just because it's dinner, bro, and I don't feel like I don't really even appreciate dinner no more because it's like, you know, we're looking at our phones. We got to actually have a topic that's really going to get us to, you know, communicate on a level where we both can benefit from this moment. So I'll probably take the bag too. You know How much mean? money are we talking about though? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just looking at it like, like for instance, like maybe, like if it was Jay-Z, Warren Buffett, I'll probably take the dinner. Jay-Z said to take my money. Like, <laughs> but I'm also, but, I, but it's also like, okay, what am I getting out of this dinner? That's what I'm saying. Like, what if you go to the dinner and you found all Jay Z awkward, and you don't really talk. Then what? Yeah, because he may not even really rock with me like that. Because I'm not one of his boys. You know what I mean? So I guess I would take the money. That's what I'm saying. Like you might as well take the money. Yeah, I'm gonna take the money. Now you hear about the the fake Drake situation? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see how they like he had to change his name. Yeah, right? yeah. He and then he received because he received the cease and desist from. Uh, from OBO, um, using Drake's image and like, pretty much likeness for his brand. Uh, I think he was even trying to like drop music and whatnot, which is kind of weird. As like a grown ass man, like <clears throat> like as a grown ass man pretending to be someone else, that's just that's just kind of weird to me. I don't, I don't get it. Like even like the little dirt, what's his name, Perkyo? Mm-hmm. Like he over there trying to do shows and whatnot, just based off of looking like little dirt. It's just like a weird, broke space. Bro, people, people are just weird, bro. Like, people are really, you know, people are really weird. weird. Like, what they do. Like, I get it, like, you may look like somebody. Yeah. But it's like, like, what do you have of yourself that's, like, valuable? Yeah, I, I know they'd be like, oh, yeah, we have, like, a bunch of, like, Michael Jackson impersonators and shit like that. But I feel like this is just different because the fake Drake... The Parkio, if they took it at a different level where it's like all over social media and like they go mm-hmm. to the clubs, they doing hostings, like and the dude who dude really don't look like Drake for real. Not really. Part you look like just like just just like when you out in public and somebody say like, Damn, anybody ever told you you look like Beyonce. Ooh, they do <laughs> say that. Ooh, they no. do. No. Girl be ugly as hell. You be like, man, come on, bro. 
But you know, a lot of people like their ears being beat up. I mean, yeah, true. <laughs> I just, I really can't believe that people actually, like, before this was really confusing him with Drake. Yeah. Like, when he was going viral, like, you know what you really thought of was Drake, bro. But even watching, like, even watching the interviews with him, he was saying how people really thought he was up. He was taking pictures and shit, and I was just like, man, that shit crazy. <clears throat> So wait, you think he, like, you think he, like, took some girl home, like, based off of pretending to be Drake? Like, I think, you, you think I think she would have realized, she would, like, at, like, at the drive home, do you think she would not, like, realize, like, yo, you need Drake, bro? I think, and this is sad to say that, because, you know, people have their drunk moments and their drunk nights yeah. when they get faded. Um, or even high, where they think somebody is somebody else. Like, you would be out in the club or at a bar, and you get faded. And you may think that that girl is a 10 that's really a 4.5. And you take her home, and you do your thing with her. And then, you know, hopefully you, you go to her crib. Because if you got to ask her, if you got to ask her, Politely to sit here and leave your spot, it may be a little slow. <laughs> but if you at her crib, you can sneak out. And you just got to take that L for the team. Yeah. But I just can't imagine like a girl actually thinking he's Drake. He was like, yeah, I'm gonna take you home, take you. Like, bro, let me show you this real quick, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this because I actually shared this, uh, and this was so crazy. And I made a thing. I said, so I got to unwrap you once I take you home, huh? Like, look at this. Like, this is crazy. Think about, fellas, think about this. Because, you know, like, women, they're wearing their corsets, their waist trainers and stuff. But there's, like, this body wrap thing where basically it... Um, so that's not even a waist trainer. Right, it's not even a waist trainer. But it wraps around the, the, the woman's body. And it makes her look and appear smaller than what it is. So I sat here and said, so I got to take you home. So I got to, what I say? So I got to unwrap you once I take you home, huh? And it just, it's just so crazy because it's like in our, today's society, it's like people don't want to work. People don't want to work for those bodies that they want. Yeah. You know, so you see this chick, you see this chick in the club or whatever out, and you may think she got like this fat old ass, these nice, these nice, you know, these nice titties and stuff. But in real life, you take her home, you got to really deal with this. You got to really unwrap Shorty. Like, and I'm going to blur her face off because I ain't going to say it. I ain't trying to really put her out there. But, you know, she looked crazy. And for me, if I took this home, if I took this home, I would be pissed. She would have to go. But you could, I mean, come on. You, you got to tell, like, yo. Imagine you dancing with her and then you, you tell her you feel like some shit kind of hard there. Well, hold on, wait a, wait a minute, because most women ain't going to let you touch on them. They don't like that, unless you they man. I, I, I'm with y'all women. I'm with y'all. I know how y'all roll. Respect me. Respect my temple. <laughs> you know what I mean? Respect my temple. So, um, yeah, that shit's crazy. Let's talk about some movies, man. Let's talk about some movies. Uh, it is Halloween season. Halloween season, DJ drama, <laughs> and just like that, we go. Movie. Yeah, DJ drama. Yeah, you need to be in the credits. Like yeah. if DJ drama was the credits, I might actually sit and actually watch the credits. The mm -hmm. drama was in there. Facts. Yeah, I mean, but what do we got here? What do we got here? Um, oh yeah, pray for the devil. I heard. Yeah, that was the movie I wanted to see. I saw the trailer when I went to go see Halloween Ends. It looked pretty good. Okay. Okay. Wait, you saw? Wait, you saw Pray for the Devil? No, 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 I'm saying I saw the trailer when I went to go see Halloween okay. Ends. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I don't know if I'm. I'm probably I'm gonna watch it. Mm -hmm. But I from I saw the trailer too, and I just don't know. It's just something about it just doesn't really give me the horror movie vibe that that you think it would be. Well, I mean, it is PG-13, so we do know obviously they're gonna leave some stuff out. It's not a rated R film. Um, but I just like how they switched up the storyline because how the trailer is guys, um, usually a nun, she's not supposed to be a part of an exorcism and stuff. Yeah. Usually that's left towards the priest. Um, so, but obviously within the trailer, 
um, she's the person that actually is the one that's going to make or break this situation. Rather, the, the, the girl stays possessed by the devil or if the nun can actually help her. So, and Lions, I think Lionsgate it's are the Lions. people. It's yeah, Lionsgate, right? It's Lionsgate, yeah. yeah. And they put out good movies. It just looked like, but it just looked like an action. <laughs> like, you don't remind me. It doesn't, like the trailer, there's just so mm. much going on. It's like so in your face. There's no subtlety to it. It's, it's an exorcism, bro. Yeah. Shit get crazy out there. I know, but it looked like she battled like three, four demons. Hell yeah. Like she's about to screw up with them in the trailer. Just like Constantine. <laughs> <laughs> just like Constantine. Like she was fake. My thing keep blocking. Um, uh, who else we got? Um, they got that two movie. Uh, I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, I, like, and that's the thing. Like, like we said, even about you know the um, the Will Smith new film coming out. I believe it's in December. Yeah. yeah. Like it's like it's the only black films that really get praised are s some fucked up shit. Yeah, black. Films like, and everything, yeah. like we know, and maybe it may be a good film for mm -hmm. like maybe the younger generation to go see. Yeah. But I feel like yeah, us, you know. like you know. We're, about to be in our 30s and stuff yeah. and it's like we heard of the horror stories and stuff of that we heard of the Rodney Rodney King situation like we don't need to keep seeing things and then you come out with some like million dollar trailer for us to go see it and stuff and it's like damn we really about to watch the upbringing of a child and then his parents and then to see that their child got gruesomely murdered yeah. in the way that they did like, I mean, the story, like, it's crazy. Like, you know, it was like a closed yeah. casket. They had to... Well, I don't even really want to... It's I think, too much. Yeah, it was supposed to be a closed casket, but she opened the casket so everyone could see what they did. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm not even sure if they even going to show that in the movie, which I would hope not. I mean, I'm not watching it regardless. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> well, before we get to this, we also have, what, the new Creed? What, Creed 3 trailer? It's yeah, to come next and I was fire. February? I was fire. That trailer was fire. Fire, don't oh, hate. They got the dude from Kane the Conquer. He's playing it too. Yeah. yeah. People like. Uh, nah, he's a great actor. Great he's actor. Really great actor. Great actor. Um, and I believe it's uh Michael B. Like debut as a director. I okay. He directed this film. Um. <laughs> I don't want to be a hater. <laughs> Anytime somebody say they don't want to be a hater, they about to say some hateful shit. Nah, it's it's not even like hating. I would I want to say it's like more constructive. I feel like I've seen the story before. Okay, you have the friend who took the fall for you because he saw a lot of greatness in you. You went mm. to, you went to go big. Now he come come comes back from jail. Now he feels like he's entitled to some shit, and now you're just gonna battle it out. Uh, or it's, it's just, I feel like I've seen that story before. Yeah, it's usually the black man's story. Yeah. For sure. So it's like, it's nothing, but I guess it's a Creed movie, so I guess, but, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'll watch it. I didn't watch the second one yet. <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean, I, like I said, I like all the Rocky and Creed movies. Um, they actually, I was watching an old, I was watching like an old boxing fight or whatever, and they showed the actual boxer that the Rocky story was uh, made off of. So that was pretty dope. Um... Yes. To all our Saw fans out there, we do have the original Jigsaw actor, Tobin Bell. He will be returning in the newest um, Saw movie. Uh, this will be the 10th Saw film. And um, they said that they, they begin filming later this month and it will be released October 27th of next year. That was, um, um, that was my first date. What, to uh, Saw? To see Saw? With my, uh, with my girl. Mm -hmm. I went to Saw Saw. Which one? Whichever one came out five, five years ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't remember which I one. That was, I think that was four. But all I remember is, like, she was laughing the whole time. Ugh, and I was last like, kill. <laughs> and I was like, what are you laughing at? This, this torture. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Why you? <laughs> Just to think, what would she do to you? <laughs> shit. Hey, I don't know why she was laughing. But, but shit, I, I guess I didn't see that. I didn't take that as a red flag. Yeah, I didn't see the humor <laughs> in a person getting killed. <laughs> getting tortured. Boy. Tortured, bro. Yeah. Like, for instance, the one scene off the one Saw movie, like when they're in the bathroom and the dude has to saw off his leg. Is oh, it his yeah, leg or his yeah. arm? I think it's, it's, it's his leg, his right? Leg, yeah. And then, you know, he has a saw that it's all dull and stuff. And Because you remember he tried to, what, he tried to, uh, 
what was it? He tried to break the handcuffs with the saw, and then the saw broke, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, that's, that's crazy. Yeah, like, usually, so, just like, remember, so usually in the Saw movie, like, they're usually, like, against each other, right? Mm. And it's, it's, it's usually one winner, right? Yeah. So, like, what would you do if you were in that situation? Like, are, you, are you willing to, you know, do what you got to do? I mean, the only one, they only give you one survivor. So I think I think and we sometimes they'd be having like a, a couple of years. Like and we've seen this since like the beginning of humans. Humans never go help somebody else. It's kind of like an instinct thing. Like I'm not the I'm not the, I want to be out of this situation. Yeah. So it's better off if I sit here and save myself before saving you. Because with the Saw film, they had what made it so interesting was that. It wasn't just you had to set yourself free, but they put a clock in order for you to yeah, set yeah, yourself yeah. free. So when you have that situation, you got all these thoughts in your head. One, you're trying to figure out why you're here. Then it goes to how can I get out of this situation? Yeah. So in most cases, from what you saw from the film, just like when we had the one saw where there was the crooked cop, yeah. and then the cop was on the scene seeing everything that Jigsaw did, and he noticed how Jigsaw was gone for a while to the point he wanted to be the new Jigsaw. And then when that film ends, he gets himself tied into a game. And then he ends up dying. No, I don't know. I'm not sure if he died. I can't remember. I remember, I remember a little bit of what you were talking about. Yeah. But the other interesting fact, I don't even think they tell you in Jigsaw that, I mean, is it even one survivor? Does anyone even survive? I don't remember. But um, they don't specifically tell you like you're working against someone. I don't think they just end up people just being like, yeah. So they're just there. Yeah. Like, cause I know usually they might like team up to figure out a puzzle, but like after that, it's almost like just survival kicks in. It's mm -hmm. like you know, if you're in the way, you're in the way. You gotta get out. Just like uh, the one newest film, you got Escape Room. Same thing. Like in most cases, people try to <laughs> save themselves versus working working as a team. And the person that usually tries to save themselves is one who usually ends up dead. You know what? That, sh that should be like a couple therapy thing. Like, like, like this week I went to the maze thing. I feel like they should get like couples, I put mm -hmm. them in like a maze and a map and see how they work well together and some shit like that. Too much arguing going on. <laughs> You're going like, to say some hateful things in them cornfields. Because yeah. I feel like it's going to be that one person or that one couple who can't decide like who's going to be the lead. Mm hmm I'm going to do the map or this is where we are at. Right. Yeah, man. That's crazy. So what else we got? Because my, uh, my iPad dying. Got uh, 8%. Right now. iPhone uh, users. Y'all know how we Y'all know how we do it. The new trailer for Ant-Man and the Boss uh, Quantum Mania. Yeah. Um, I still have to watch that. I saw like little snippets okay, from okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. That comes out next year, February 17th, 2023. Mm -hmm. So we, um, where we, uh, yeah, this is, hey. Guys, just to let y'all know, when you all are, um, you know, filming, podcast, show, anything like that, make sure you invest into certain things that can help you stay on track. Um, for us, like, we we do, we use this, we use this app called Millinote, and then we're able to share it. Um, That'll save your life. Right? Yeah, we're able to share it around, you know, to the crew and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we get to share and have stuff like that. So We, we used to <laughs> do the, um, the notes. Yeah, we used to really use iPhone notes to help us out, man. And it was a struggle. That was a struggle. It was a struggle to share the note. But yeah, this is pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie. Mellow Note, y'all need to do a sponsorship. You might as well, you know. <laughs> you might as well shoot a sponsorship our way. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Mellow Note. Because <laughs> that shit is mad convenient. You can just share the link to anyone. You can mm -hmm. have it non-edited. You can even do like a password protected link. Like it feels like someone you have to show about. Right. So moving on to one of the last things we're going to talk about in today's episode, we have our WTF moments. Mm -hmm. um, missing grand grandmother's body was found in a monster python mm -hmm. this week, and this was crazy. Like think about it. You ain't got no food. You, you know when you go over to grandma's house, she usually got you like a nice warm plate of food and stuff. You go over there, you like. Damn, where my food at? It's cold as shit over here. Where grandma at? You yelling, Grandma! Grandma! No answer. 
come on, can I got per can I have the rest of your Popeyes? You don't, you don't want that right. And then you go out there to the field, take still looking for grandma. You see a snake. And you see this snake. And not just any snake, because big, big old snake. Big old snake. You probably thinking like, shit. You're like, hold on. I could, I could win a world record here. And you're like, hold on. Something in that snake. And instincts go in, they kick in. That snake got my grandma. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, yo! It's this big ass python over here. Oh, I need y'all to open it up. Oh, hold on, though. Like, how, how big do you think this lady was? Like, she has to be like a little lady type thing. Like, how. I, well, you know what you know what snakes and stuff they have acid inside their body yeah, where yeah, they yeah. decompose like the body's de I mean the whatever they're eating decomposes with inside of the body, so that's how they actually yeah, um, digest their food. <clears throat> Did this say how old she was? No. If she's a grandma, bro, she's got to be sixty plus. Because my thing is like I always thought maybe maybe I'm just naive. <laughs> like I I just saying the wildest shit about animals. I, I just be joking. Um, my thing is, <clears throat> like, how do you let, like, a, how do you let, like, an anaconda or python, like, really catch you, though? Because they don't got any venom, right? So, there's only two ways they catch you. One, first of all, your ass ain't supposed to be in this jungle. Look at this shit. Mm -hmm. Your ass is not And that's what I because I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, Grandma, why were you outside in the first place? Because if we're talking about a python, python, Obviously, they live in a place where pythons are. Yeah. Pythons are actually there, so it's like, why are you out there? That's what I'm saying. Like, why? Why are you out there too, though? Bro, the average python, even if you were out there, they're not really gonna come up to you type shit. Like, because again, they don't have any venom, so they they have to catch you, wrap around you, and do what they gotta do. I mean, once they wrap around you, it's over. Mm -hmm. but, how did you even get that close to it? Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Because first of all, they're probably scared of people. So, I wonder if it was a situation where she saw the python and she was like, "Oh, let me get closer." Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it did what it did. Like, cause I, I want to kind of be careful, cause I was about to make a joke of it. Oh yeah. I was really about to make a joke. Like I was about to say she was out there wearing an iPhone. She making a TikTok oh, yeah. video with the with the python, and then oh, boom! Right. This is it right here. She's what? A, a grandmother. She a twenty-two foot long python. Indonesia. Um, she was 54. Mm. She failed to return from collecting rubber from a plantation in Jambi province on Sunday. The husband searched the area, blah, blah, blah. His wife saw the sandals, jacket, headscarf. Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Returned to the same area with the third search party. I guess that's when they found the um, python. Yep, see? See, that's what I said. I said, <clears throat> the giant snake with a swollen midsection where it had eaten something large, police confirmed. So that's the thing. When snakes, when they actually eat something huge, they try to go somewhere where they can't yeah. be bothered because they have to digest that food. So. But my, my thing was why I asked her, I mean, I don't know what kind of ailment she has, but my thing is though, you're 54. Mm -hmm. like, like, how do you, like if I see a python, I'm running the next way. This is me. I'm not even a put. I didn't really gotta run for it because they're really not going. Pythons are really going like mess with people. I, I can, you can literally walk away from a python. Okay. Hold on, hold on. What? You been in a situation with a python? No. So what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is you talking about? He like, hey, if you ever encounter a python, this is what you should do first. So, <laughs> <laughs> like what, bro? <laughs> Wait a minute. Look, I, I watched a lot of Animal Planet growing up, man. Okay. All right, all right, all right. No, so I, you got something credible. No, you got something credible. I, I, like, because my thing is, the thing is, if you don't see it, okay, I get it. If you don't see it and, you know, you stumble and it catches you, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, that's right. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. The rip is, is over, unfortunately. But I'm, I'm more so like, it could have been one of them situations where she, you know, she's walking, she's walking through the forest and stuff. Yeah, I think she's she, stumbling. She makes a left. And it's just right there. Python right there. Like, you know what I mean? That's what I think it, that, that happened. But I feel like the average person reflexes, like your adrenaline should kick in and say you see it, you dip. Did you not see Anaconda? Yeah, but that's not realistic, though. I think it is. No, it's not. It's, it's what, not. Is, what was not realistic? Like, 
You talking about, wait, talking about like Amazon? I'm talking about Ice Cube <laughs> and Anaconda, bro. Oh yeah, no, that's not realistic. How? Like, you see how like in Anaconda, like you saw like how the snakes, how they used to like come down, like the big opening and like how they could like lift their head up and shit like that. Or like lift the middle of their body up. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Anacondas can't do that. Well, you know, with the story, they were kind of like hybrid and yeah, 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 due yeah. to the, the plant and stuff, but... You should watch those one videos when they like break down popular movies and they'll be having like real scientists and shit. Like okay. That. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And, um, <laughs> Maybe. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> you, you know when some, somebody give you like, yeah, you should try this, move on. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, what you should really try out since it's Halloween season, guys. Um, go on YouTube, look up, look up Casual Geographic. He does like the animal shit. Okay. And he has like an animal like episode for like Halloween, like some scary shit. Mm -hmm. It was like some shit about like, cause you know like majority of tigers are, um, are like in the United States. But he got like some crazy ass stories that you guys should check out. So what else we got? We got Amazon driver's body found in front of lawn after two dogs Damn. viciously attacked him. The dead body was on the lawn for hours before being found. That's, that's sad. Yeah, no, that's definitely sad. And, and again, I, I used to work for Amazon at one point. And, yeah, um, that's sad as shit. Yeah. Think about you just casually got somebody's Prime, somebody's TV, and then you got these two loose ass dogs. Oh, no. I've, I've been in a situation like that. It's like, crazy. These wild ass dogs, like, and I'd be mad because people know they have a package coming and they know they got some crazy ass dogs. But it don't like put them up, which which is the crazy part. Cause I remember one time I delivered a package. Excuse me. I delivered a package. Thought it was a normal thing. I didn't mm -hmm. see no dog. I walk walking back to the van, turn the corner, boom, two big old dogs in my face, mad as hell. So uh, what did I do? I think like I picked something up to like separate me and the dogs and I walked back to the front I was just like knocking on the door like yo like yo come get your dogs for you fuck yeah that shit I mean that sucks bro like like that suck like that just really sucks yeah. like you know you go and see you go and see your job and then this is what you sit here and have to deal with and that was in uh Missouri somebody gotta get sued for that I don't know who, but somebody got to get sued for that. And what happens to the dogs? Do they have to put the dogs down after that? Yeah, yeah. They usually have to. Unless, unless it was one of those situations where I think, like, if they come on somebody's property. However, it is a little bit tricky because that was a worker. Yeah, that's so. what I'm saying. some aggressive ass dogs I just can't imagine getting killed by a man's best friend That's yeah crazy. facts um so I see you have a beware of these Jesus folks coming to your door <laughs> this was just hilarious man I, <laughs> I gotta play the video oh my gosh first of all look at his belt <laughs> look, at his, look at his 2k belt <laughs> I can't find resident. What is your name? Hold on. This is Alexa. What is the purpose of the visit? Jesus Christ. I can't find resident. What is your name? This is Alexa. Hold on, bro. Jesus Christ. I can't find resident. What is your name? So what was he at? Like a ring door or something? Yeah, that's my question. Alexa. He pulled that thing. That was that law revolver. That's from his great great grandpa. That's crazy. Oh my gosh! Imagine Jehovah. <laughs> Special blessing. Imagine Jehovah Witness pulling up. They know you in the house, <laughs> and they pull up strap. Oh, bro! People are crazy, man. People are definitely crazy. But uh, <laughs> not, that was just pretty much the end of the um, WTF moment. So this is just something funny we saw. Oh, no, I know. On Twitter, of course, you can find anything on Twitter these days. What else we got here? What else we got here? You heard about this? What? 
um, this man, it was like a, it was some other like podcast clip, but it was like a wild story. Apparently, like this dude went to a cow milking competition. I don't know how true this is, and he pretended to be a cow. <laughs> so he got out there and was on all fours yeah, or something. Yeah, like, he pretended to be a cow so he could get like milk. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, hold on, what? He get milk down there too? Yeah. No, <laughs> But no, um, apparently it took, uh, again, I don't know how true this is, I can probably play it, I don't know how long it is, but um, apparently, I don't remember how many people who milked him before they realized, like, he's not a cow, and he only has one otter, which is his dick. <laughs> well, it's like, this is random shit you just see online, bro. This is a black guy. Texas has been arrested uh, on charges of public in indecency and masturbation by deception. Mr. Twinley posed as a dairy cow during the local 4-H milking competition. <laughs> cow was milked by a total of 13 contestants. So 13 before his ruse was uncovered. 13 to be all 13 dudes need to be investigated. Also, <laughs> you yeah, them that. dudes got to be investigated, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's what I don't know how true this story is, but if it is true, thirteen people. First of all, it's a dick. It's a dick. <laughs> like at the end of the day, brown dick, white dick, light skin dick. It's a dick. And second of all, ain't no way that's a costume. Wait, hold yeah, on. That, that. You see this? Is this him? Is that that's a black man? <laughs> that can't be him. This gotta be like some funny shit. That oh, ain't that's no way a this black is him. Man. Ain't no way this is him. That's him. That's him. First, he don't even look like a cow. <laughs> well, I mean, shit. I mean, well, if he's on all fours, you're not gonna. Uh, you can tell a cow. <laughs> you can tell him a cow costume, bro. But I'm also thinking like, cause I'm like a cow. Like a cow has to be on all fours. Like, yeah, but, he would have to be all fours, but on his knees. But you telling me he got like, he got have been. First of all, it would have to be like a super realistic costume. We would have to have like hooks and shit like that. He had a time in his life, bro. I guarantee. You know, this right. was the moment of his life. Nah, he got jerked off by thirteen. Nah, those thirteen dudes knew he was a nigga, and they got caught up, mm -hmm. and they want the wives to know. So like, yeah, he just he was just pretending to be a cow. You know. <laughs> I'm saying it's like crazy shit you see online.